Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and with the OnePlus 5C having just been released and with a new longer ratio screen, there is plenty of stuff to sink your teeth into within the settings. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Number one is changing the number of app columns. Now OnePlus has long been one of the few companies to offer great customization choices. Now to choose how many app icon columns appear on the home screen, tap and hold your wallpaper, choose settings and select home screen layout. Now you can choose between three, four or five columns as well as change the size of the icons. Number two is creating parallel apps. Now one of the new features is the ability to have twin apps, which is useful if you have both a work and personal account for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or have two WhatsApp accounts. Head to settings, apps, parallel apps, and choose which apps you want to create a clone of. Then they appear alongside each other in the app drawer. Number three is swiping on the fingerprint sensor to bring down notifications. Now like a handful of other Android phones, you can swipe down on the fingerprint sensor to bring your notifications and quick settings panel down. Go to settings, gestures and toggle the swipe fingerprint for notifications option to enable it. Number four is taking a picture with the fingerprint sensor. Now you can also use the fingerprint sensor to take a photo. In that same menu, tap the long press to take the photo option. Now whenever you're in the camera viewfinder, you can tap and hold on the sensor and it'll take a picture. Number five is adding face data. Now using facial recognition to unlock your phone is new to OnePlus. To register your face data, head to settings, security and lock screen and then tap add face data. Then go through the simple process of registering your face. To remove it, do the same and tap remove face data. Number six is pinning apps to the screen. Now screen pinning means you can stop people rooting through your phone and stay in that one same app. To enable it, go to the security settings and toggle the screen pinning option. Now go to whatever app you want to pin. Hit the recent apps button and press on the little green pin icon in the bottom corner. Now that app is pinned to your screen. If you don't want it pinned any longer, you can press and hold the back button and it'll take you back to your lock screen. The next one is gaming do not disturb. Now if you get annoyed by people bugging you on WhatsApp while you're trying to beat your best lap times in Real Racing 3, you'll be glad to know there's now a way to block notifications while you game. Drop down the quick settings tiles, swipe across and tap the gaming do not disturb toggle to switch it on. If you want to set it to come on automatically for specific apps, you can press and hold this icon and then choose the apps you want to add. Next on the list is choosing which apps fill your screen. Now with the 18 by 9 ratio display, not all apps are going to look wonderful stretched out. If you notice any dodgy ones, head to settings, apps, full screen apps and select the ones you want to show in the old style 16 by 9 ratio instead. And of course, lastly is the Easter egg. As has been the case for some time now, for OnePlus there's an easter egg to discover in the calculator. Type OnePlus equals and see what happens. Of course there are plenty more things that you can try, including hiding the navigation bar or swapping the back and recent apps buttons around. But you can find out more about that in the more in-depth written article that I'll leave a link for in the description down below. Now if you do like this video please do hit that thumbs up button, if you don't there's also a thumbs down button and hit that subscribe button too while you're there. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, Instagram and all the other important social media networks. I'll see you again soon.